In this video, we will learn some special properties that parallel lines and transversals have. So what we're going to be talking about is a situation where we have multiple lines that are all parallel to each other. So if we have three lines that are all parallel to each other, so they've been marked as parallel with little arrows, and also two transversals that cross them, then it will always be the case that the segments that are created by the parallel lines and the transversal will be proportional to each other. So for example, if our segments, this segment was A, this was B, this was C, and this was D, it will always be the case that A over B will be in the same ratio as C over D. Now this has to do with the triangle proportionality theorem, if you think about it, because these two transversals will eventually intersect and will create, therefore, a big triangle. So this idea of the parallel lines and the transversals creating ratios that are the same is a result of the triangle proportionality theorem, because it's really just the same thing. It's just the picture looks slightly different. This idea can actually be extended to a case where there's more than three parallel lines. So let's look at that next. If you had, in this case, four parallel lines, and again, two transversals, then all these segments that are created will be proportional to each other. So if we label them all, A, B, C, D, E, F, then if you take any two like, pairs of corresponding sides, they will always be in the same ratio. So A over B will be the same ratio as D over E, or you could say that B over C will be in the same ratio as E over F. As long as the sides match, so A and B was the same in the same location as D and E, then it will match up. It wouldn't necessarily be the case that A over B will be the same ratio as B over C, however, because it depends on how long these actual segments are, but the relative ratios on the left compared to the right will be the same. Now this whole idea, whether it's the more basic case up here or the more complex case down here, is useful if you have a situation where you have this sort of picture and you're given information about some of the sides and trying to figure out one or two missing sides. And the way you would do that is set up a proportional equation. So if in this example, instead of A, B, C, and D, we'd actually had numbers like 3, 4, 2, and X, we could solve for x by saying, all right, well, 3 over 4 must equal 2 over x, and then cross multiply to solve that. So we would get 3x equals 8 when we multiply those pairs, and therefore, when you divide by 3, x must equal 8 thirds. So we could figure out this missing side using this idea and a proportional equation.